Hey everyone, welcome back to new video and in this video we're gonna learn about file provider in Android. So without wasting any time, let's get started with our project. File provider is a special type of content provider using which you can share your private files to other application. It acts as a bridge between your application and other application. File provider never shares your underlying path of your file. So in our project, I'm going to create an application which first capture image through camera and after that we are going to share this information to other application using file provider. So let's get started with our project. So first thing first go to the Android manifest and here we have to add few permission. First permission is for camera and next we have to add one more permission for write external storage. Uh, this will give me a problem. Simply take the suggestion. It will add users feature. Okay, so now come back to our main activity and let's begin with our composable. So in our composable, I'm going to call this image capture app. Uh, this will contain a column and in this column, we have modifier, fill max size, its vertical arrangement on the center and its horizontal alignment is also on the center, not center. In this column, we have two buttons. So first button is used to capture an image. Next, we have spacer of height 12 dp. Let me import this dp. Lastly, we have one more button for sharing this file. So share file. Alright, so first thing first, I'm going to take all the permission with the help of permission launcher. So this permission launcher is initialized with the help of remember multiple permission state. We have to pass our list of permission, which is coming from Android manifest permission. First is camera. Next, we have Android manifest permission, write external storage. Uh, this is an experimental API, so make sure to annotate your composable with experimental permission API. By the way, this uh, remember multiple permission state is coming from an library uh, naming accompanist permission. So in our lips version toml file, this is the this is the dependency. And in our Gradle, I'm using this dependency over here. Now come back to our project. Okay, so as soon as we launch this uh, composable, I'm gonna use permission launcher and launch permis permission request. And I want to execute this uh, block only one time. That's why I'm using unit here. And one more launcher I'm going to create for capturing an image. And I'm going to call this uh, capture image launcher. Remember launcher for activity result. We have to pass our contract. So contract is coming from activity result contact dot take picture. So now it's time to begin with our on click event. So when user click capture button on that case, first thing first, I'm going to create a file name. And this file name is uh, capture underscore our time. Next, the location. So storage directory and storage directory uh, requirement is context. So simply create context with the help of uh, local context dot current. Context dot get external file directory. By the way, if you don't know about content provider and content resolver, you can watch my this video. And if you don't know about uh, file management in Android, you can watch my this video. Okay, so in this I'm gonna use environment dot pictures directory. Now it's time to create our file with the help of a file. I'm gonna create a create temporary file. In this we have to pass a prefix, suffix and location. So for prefix I'm using file name for suffix I'm using dot jpg file because this is an image file. Last is the directory. So directory is coming from storage directory. Now we are having our file. Uh, we need few states to hold the information about our image URI and image file. So let's create that. First image URI, remember a mutable state of this will contain a URI which is unnullable initially. Similarly, we have one file image file. Remember mutable state of file which is nullable and initial value is null. Now, once we create this file, update our image file value with this file. Now it's time to create our file URI with the help of file provider dot get URI for file. Pass your context. Next, the authority. So authority is nothing but our context dot package name and append file provider in front of this. So lastly, we have to 
pass the file that we have created so simply pass your file this will give me an uri and through this uri i am going to launch my camera launcher which is capture image launcher dot launch simply use your file uri and also update your image uri with this file uri okay so this is our on click event for capture so now we are going to write on click event for our share file so first we require uri which is coming from file provider dot get uri for file pass your context next the authority so authority is coming from our context dot package name dot file provider next the file so file is coming from image file dot value and i'm sure this is not null now i'm going to create an intent and eventually i will launch my activity so with the help of intent make sure to import this thing this intent has an action intent action sent i'm using apply scope function first i'm going to mention the type so type is image slash any type of image next i'm going to put some extra information in it intent dot extra stream requirement of this extra stream is file uri so simply pass your file uri lastly we have to mention the flag which is again coming from intent dot flag read uri permission and now it's time to launch our activity so context dot start activity pass your intent dot create chooser because uh, we want to choose an application through which we want to share this information pass your intent in it and lastly the title so title is choose app to share this file so we are pretty much done with our on click event of share button now to share our information to other application we have to add provider in our android manifest so go to our android manifest and here add provider in the authorities we have to add our application id dot file provider in the name i am using android x core content file provider exported is false and grant uri permission is true this provider has few metadata so let's add that and in this metadata we have name and name is coming from android dot support dot file provider path next we have to mention the resource location where this path information is stored so this resource is created in our xml folder so let's do that xml resource file and i will call this file paths I remove this preference screen instead of this use path this path contains external file path because i want to share my file which present in external file location in the name i'm using my slash files in the path i'm using pictures slash so this is our location all right so go to your android manifest and simply in the resource add this xml resource which is file paths and uh, yeah we are pretty much done with this application now go to our main activity and use image capture application in our box all right so now we are good to go it's time to execute our applications so i will execute this application in my physical device all right so app is executing give the permission and click capture so i will capture this okay and i want to share this information so click on the share file and uh, uh, let us share this thing in whatsapp so i want to send this information to ankit there we go so this is our uh, image that uh, we have just shared to ankit so yeah that's it for this video it's a very simple video but at the same time if you don't know about content provider if you don't know about file management in android this concept is a little bit tough for you so make sure to watch this video and also you can watch my those two videos that we have mentioned during this video all right so that's it we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about android till that very good bye